Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Daily Lost video, and today it's just me, no Vanessa, hopefully, unless I run out of time to talk about this. But anyway, <clears throat> this month's Daily Lost came out, and so it's time to go over and see what's coming up this month. Now, previous month was real slow, so let's see how slow this month is gonna be. So, the invasion event that the, the Blood Set Bind is currently going on. Yes, this is where we get Gala Emil. Hello, say hello to the smug boy right here. Now, of course, the other characters that people actually like, who are not just... I, I'm just joking, by the way, if you're a Emil fan, it's all good. He has... he's for a very certain type of person. I'm not that person. Plans for this month. They're gonna remember to finally add Michael after everyone thought that he was coming last month, and then... He just didn't come out for some reason, but now Valix, Ferris, and Michael are coming in a prize showcase, coming right after Emil. And he'll be the fifth and final uh, Archangels, so we'll have all of them, and then we'll probably start getting some... I wonder if we're going to start getting more Archangels like um, Seraphim, where it's a unit and then they turn into the big dragon. We'll see. Flame and Light Attuned versions of Sutter will appear as raid bosses for Trials of the Mighty. Gala Zena and Gala Ceres got their mana spirals. Gala Ceres, real happy about her mana spiral. Still trying to figure out if I'm going to use Omnicide or not, because unfortunately she came out the same month as Gala Zena, so that's two back-to-back, -back, like, hmm. Hmm, I bet they, I hope they do right by Zena. I'm going to have to wait to see Zena and then choose, I think. But anyway, Romance Under Siege is coming back. A new adventurer will make their debut in a summon showcase in mid-February. They have appeared in-game before but never as a potential addition to your roster until now. Who could it be? I've actually been thinking about some of the things it could potentially be, and I think the main thing that came into my head was either the shop girl, <laughs> either it's the shop girl finally making her debut, or it's the, you're gonna keep up the Emil theme and they're gonna bring Emil's uh, night guy, the one for Persona 5, the one who is canon now. Now that he's canon, they may as well just release him as a real unit, because he's my favorite thing about Emil, is that w one character. Um, yeah, there's actually a decent amount of characters who I think we have seen art for, but just aren't in the game. But in terms of ones I would want, those are the two that pop into my head. <laughs> it's either the shop girl, or um, Emil's bodyguard guy, night man. There you go. Part 1 Chapter from 24 is coming up. Everyone's going out on a great journey. Iblis Surging Cascade Legend Difficulty is coming for uh, those who want to bang their head against this. I wish you good luck. The Dragons Apollo, Styx, Pazuzu, Coruscant Phoenix, and Epithenomus can be unbound five times starting later this month. Very nice. And some future updates. As announced, previous episode of Dragalia Digest, Housekeeper Pia is coming, but she's not, or Paya is coming and she's not coming alone. She's gonna come in with a new outfit and someone's coming alongside her. Hmm. This actually makes me think. So usually they do one girl, one guy, but I think because is a little girl, <laughs> I think they might end up doing two maid girls or I don't know. To keep things even, it would make sense to do a maid boy and a maid girl and make it also a little girl, but a little boy, I mean, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know who could potentially be showing up with them. I really like Pia's art. I think I've said it before that I really like Pia because she is the most little girl character in any gotcha I've ever seen. Because most gotchas make it so that kids feel like they're competent and can fight back. Pia looks like she's way in over her head. Look at her. She's just terrified for her damn life. Fighting for her life right now. She picked up a bow. She's a maid. She, she thought she wouldn't have to fight because she's in a maid outfit. Wrong dead wrong and now she's fighting for her life in what looks like some kind of magical girl bow mm. looking forward to that we'll see what it is i know it's weird for me to be like yo p <coughs> yo p is <coughs> oh, excuse me i'm not sick there's a dorito chip stuck in my throat I ate doritos before coming in like a true gamer anyway <coughs> um i know it's weird for me to probably go like yo Pia, that's awesome. And then the character who has had some form of story development over the course of years is the one I go, Pih. Pih. But that's just kind of the way I am. I'm someone who very much, when you, when, a, when a person starts off and you're not supposed to like them, I'm the last person in the world to, when they start to make you try and like them or make you change your mind about them, 
I never pay attention to that. The character is poison. They may as well just die because I I'm never gonna care about them again. I have gr characters who are supposed to be hated at the start and then later be redeemed. They never get redeemed in my eyes. So Emil stays bad for me. It's a weird personal thing, and I think it's because I'm a wrestling fan, but whatever. Uh, yeah, Pia, can't wait. And Primal Brunhilde's trial will be coming. At the slate of high difficulty content, will continue in late March. Wait, wait, Primal Brunhilde's trial will join the slate of high difficulty contests available for players to challenge in late March. So not February, so next month. Weird that they're saying something for next month, but okay, sure. Summon voucher so generous, three. And some ripple. Uh, looks like a very chill kind of month again. Again, we are starting to head into the part where they said they're going to kind of slow down with less banners, which I think is funny when we're getting a new unit here. New unit here, along with another new unit. And f four fucking new units. That's not a slowdown, Dragalia. That's the same pace that you've been on, except for now we get less events. I think you need to maybe think back about what you're talking about. But anyway, it looks like it'll be a fine year. A fine year. It'll be a fine month. I'm fine with things being slow, because I actually prefer it that way. There's really not much when I think about the grand scheme of Dragalia. Like, what would make Dragalia better in my eyes is not actually a, but a bunch of new events. I think it's actually just like a steady flow of some good events every once in a while and occasionally harder boss fights. That's really all I would want. I don't want like, oh, three events going on at the same time, because no thank you at that point. But the kind of pace of just like one event kind of going on and then occasionally a big fight comes out and everyone's good and everyone's happy. And I think that's pretty good with me and a story chapter here and there. That's fine with me. I think that's a perfectly good schedule, to be honest. Uh, but feel free to tell me down below how you feel. But yeah, that's it. That's this month in Dragalia Lost. So thank you very much if you made it all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate it. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Have a good day, everyone. I hope you have a good night. And if you're still summoning for a meal, I wish you the best of luck. Till next time. Remember. Pia is looking out for you. She wants you to be happy. She wants you to do your best. So do your best. Like no one ever was. I should get back to Legends Arceus. What am I still doing here? Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good night. I already said this. Peace.